Okay, saya baru rekod. Okay, let's start. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be doing uh, BJT, insyaAllah. Oh, as mentioned, uh, maybe maybe you know in my last time we discussed. Next week, I will give quiz. I will give two more quiz or three more quizzes. Uh, next week. Uh, uh, next week. Next week will be maybe Monday. I'll give Monday, I'll give quiz on diode. Then diode. the week after that will be quiz on optoelectronic device. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, the quiz what, will be on Google Form ke? Will you uh, how will the you'll be writing you you need to say oh that's right. You need to so you need to print out so you can take I trust all of you not to cheat. And so much as I we tell, I told the gym class, uh, um, uh, that's when I was in UK, I uh, just he, he's atheist, but he believes in if you do wrong, lightning will strike you. Masa tu saya gelak ah, uh, he 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 said I don't believe in God, but I, I I don't think I will do anything bad because I I am afraid that lightning will strike me. <laughs> so jadi um, so kita ada Allah ah. Uh. So, so I trust you will not cheat. If you cheat, if you dare to cheat, uh, you will you will face consequence with Allah. Huh? Um, so, uh, the way I will do it, I'll give you the you I'll give a link where you can download the the quiz. You need to print it out in your own time, and then write on on the paper. Then you scan it or take a photo, then uh, send it to me. I will upload. Uh, I will give a folder where you um, or I give a Google form that you need to upload. Okay. Right. So it'll be on Monday on that, and then the next week Monday will be on auto electronic device. So maybe if we we are lucky, we have one more quiz on BJT. Then after that final. Lah. Okay. Even your quiz. Oh, I need to find. Can you remind me when I go to my office? I need to find your quiz. I haven't marked actually your quiz. I've looked at it, so I need to give back the quizzes to you so that you can see. Okay? Did I give back your quiz? No. Yes or no? Not yet. Uh, so please remind me. I forgot. Tamana, are you okay? I couldn't hear what you said, ma'am. You cannot hear? Now Hello? I can hear, but. Yeah, you said uh, to remind you about something, but I couldn't hear about what. Uh, about the past quiz that we did, to give it to back to us. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so um, to mark it. Okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, normally, until what chapter will our class be on? Um. So after okay, you then after the BJT, after BJT, most right, finish. Ah, yes. Cukup dua minggu. Empat minggu. Hmm, good question. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If not... But I need to go to MOSFET. No, MOSFET, uh, one class, yeah. <laughs> so, one, MOSFET, at least the basics, uh, one class will be enough. The, the, most of it will be on BJT. Okay, so, uh, so I will share now the screen. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. Right, so today we'll go to BJT, Bipolar Junction Transistor. Anybody can guess why the name Bipolar? Mm, because the current flows in both directions. No. In 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 MOSFET, it can flow in two directions. Why bipolar? Is a transistor. I mean, it has three terminals. Huh. Um. Transistor means it's a resistor, but you can 
you can control the resistivity in the device. But bipolar jun junction means there's a junction, like PN junction. Uh, that's why the, the name is junction. The name, why bipolar? Because uh, bipolar means two polarity. Uh, because in a, in a BJT, two types of carriers will be, uh, will give out current. So the current in BJT is due to both hole and electrode. Okay. In, in BJT, the current is due to both hole and electrode. In MOSFET, it's only either one. It's either hole current or electron current. You don't have both. So that's why, if you remember in your first year, the MOSFET calculation is much easier. The, the, the math is easier because the, it's only one type of current, one type of carrier. But in BJT, uh, there are two types of uh, current. One current is due to the electron, the other one is due to hole. Okay. Now, what is this good akhlaq? Inna khiyarukum ahasanukum akhlaq. The best among you are those who are best in akhlaq. Yeah, hadith Bukhari. Yeah. So just a reminder to us, you know, um, some people, they, 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 they think their ibadah is good. So they are, they are hafiz of Quran, they they solah, they do, do, they do prayer, nawafil, the extra sunnah prayer, they fast sunnah, they do everything, but the akhlaq is bad, right? But in Islam, akhlaq is also important, okay? Akidah, ibadah, akhlaq. So akhlaq, so among us, so one, two, three, four, and among the four of us here, Allah says the, the best among us here is the one, the, the Prophet said, the best among us here are the with the best of akhlaq. So hopefully we we will try to keep on improving our akhlaq, how our character, how do we deal with everything, every people and everything. Okay. Why is I doing here? I think we don't have talk, time to talk about Andalusia. Let me show you some photos. Ah. Can you guess where's Andalusia? Tak ada masa pun cakap juga. Huh? Andalusia, where's? Spain. Yes. Where is it? Huh? Spain. Spain. Which part of Spain? Southern. Yes, yeah, Southern Spain. Can anybody tell me about the why is it, uh, why Andalusia special? Is it special or no? Hmm? Uh, maybe because of the bullfighting. <laughs> the bullfighting, uh, yes. In if you if you go and read the tourism, Spain are known for the bullfighting and the you know the the lady dancing. I was a, I don't know what's a, what the dancing called, but that is for the whole of Spain. Andalusia is the southern Spain, uh, where I don't have. You can Google the map of. You can Google now the map of Spain. Uh, you can divide the Spain into the north and the south. And the south, most of the south are once being conquered by Muslims, right? Muslims conquered the southern Spain. Uh, Andalusia is actually from Al Andalus. It's in the Arabic word. So now they change it to become like a Spanish word. And many, uh, if you go to Andalusia now, the southern Spain, Andalusia like a, it's not a, it's a big region, it's a southern big region, consists of many districts. Okay, you have Cordoba over there. Cordoba, the previous name was Cordoba, the Arabic name. Uh, you have Granada, um, you have uh, the, the names are all Arabic, but they change it to become Spanish. And they and once the Christian ruler wins over the southern Spain, they try to erase the Muslim history. Okay, so I just want to like highlight this to you because I think uh, it's very interesting, and you should go and read about Andalusia. So I went there twice, I think, twice. Once when I was single with my friends and another time I, I brought my husband to go there. And uh, in, uh, in Andalusia, there's one fortress or one uh, castle which is not, uh, which is still uh, intact. 
Okay, because in, in Andalusia, there are many places that Muslim civilization was there. Even the one of the biggest university was also there. Uh, you know, remember the name of Ibn Sina uh, from Al Andalusia. Ibn Sina, apa nama ni? Al Kindi, uh, Al Khawarizmi. They're from this southern Spain. So if you go there one day, if you do make dua, you have a lot of uh, you have money. If you want to go to um, for holiday, uh, don't go to why you want to go to UK. I don't understand. You want to go to Japan, Korea. What, you should go to Islamic countries. And and one of the places you should go is you should go to this uh, Spain. is a is actually a Christian country, but it was once a Muslim country. And it was and the history is very sad. If you read the history, uh, instead of going there happy, you will be going there and you'll be sad, looking at what, what's happening there. I don't think I have time to go to the history. Normally I will go through, but we don't have time. So you can read. So one of the the castle which is still intact is called Alhambra. Or they the name of the Spanish name is La Alhambra. Uh, Al you know what Alhamra means in Arabic? Anybody? I admire your braveness, uh, Tamara, <laughs> for trying. Um, no, uh, Alhamra means red, red, the color red, because the uh, when it was built, the 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 castle was built with the. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, whether the brick was red or the or the soil is red over there. So when I mean, you see, they call, they call it Alhambra. Okay. So this the this the view uh, of Alhambra from the top. It's actually at the top of a mountain. So the ruler at that time, the Islamic ruler, will stay there and look at all the people beneath. So if you go there, this is the picture I took myself. So if you go if you go there you will see you can feel the feeling of the king uh, looking at the people there and uh, they live and interestingly this Granada this Alhambra place it was actually a desert desert eh? means uh, there's no trees at all but because of the technological uh, advancement of the Muslim at that time when we when we are at the top in in Andalusia Muslim was at the top. The UK, the Western, uh, it was in the dark ages. You know, dark ages. They don't, they don't take shower. They don't take bath. They, they are very dirty. They don't have any system. But Muslim at that time already have very good technology, high end technology, such that they at that time they are able to pump water from the 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 ground to the top to the mountain. And the, and change the desert, the, the the fortress or the castle to become very green. I will show you the some pictures. So here is one of the garden, and the garden in Alhamra is called uh, the Spanish name is called General Life. They they try to make it English and Spanish, but actually uh, the Arabic is Jannatul Arif. Very beautiful. So you know they they change it. So because they they want to wipe out the Muslim history. This is what people do to us. And as I said, the, the history, this is the last, the last castle before they wipe out Muslims in Spain. So they don't want, uh, this, this happened when the, the, the Catholic Christian come and conquer and they kill everybody. Uh, they, and during this time, the, Mus the Christian and the Jew are living happily in the Muslim ruling in southern of Spain. But um, then when they, they come and uh, have war with the Muslims and we lose and you need to read history why we lose. Uh, it's very sad. You, can you guess why we lose? What Muslim lose? Fianet. Huh? Fianet. Fianet. Uh, betrayal. Ah, yes. Betrayal? Yeah. No, not really. Uh, try lah Iman, Tamana. Try why we why we lose to the Christian, and we were at the top of technological at that time. Maybe we don't have unity. Mm, yes, 
at that time uh, there's not much unity but that's uh, b- before the last fortress were, were were taken from us we already have no unity but we still survive for many like 10 or 100 years still in the world there's still not unity but still we are still intact lah. but this but then there's a final blow but the final blow is not is due to many is uh, uh, is the prolonged cost you don't want to try and i will let you know lah iman say something I'm actually really weak sekarang. You're supposed to concentrate, then afterwards you read. Okay. <laughs> so the answer is, uh, is due to, you should read the, the history and read the right history. So if you read from the Spanish writer, they will write from their perspective. Uh, so actually, uh, I went here to Alhambra. I will show you another place later. Uh, they, they call it Medina Azahra. And most of, if you go and read the history, most is because the ruler, the ruler no longer holds Islam closely. They are, they are, they are busy. Guess they are busy with what? Yes, lah. Okay. Nah, crusade war, maybe you know. Huh? What? Um, Busy no, with uh, uh, wealth and wealth, wealth wealth and women two things okay they are busy with women and wealth and most the compared to wealth and women the most dangerous the more dangerous is women and then in the end if you look uh, they and in after this I will show you another another big but this is what is intact so it's still it's still nice the other one already gone but they are now uh, loving the world too much, right? They, they love wealth, they love women. So if you go here, if you go to Alhambra, there's a, a lot they call concubines, rooms, many rooms, where, where the, the ruler, uh, the, the king or the sultan, uh, have this, uh, a lot of women under, under him. So, but, but you know, if you hear, if you go to Alhambra, can you see very nice, very beautiful? And you know, everywhere you go like this, and they want to the 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 sultan he want to imitate um, jannah that, that's why the name jannatul arif they want to make it like paradise so everywhere you you go you will hear water flowing whether the water flowing like a river or water flowing like a like a pool like this and even the stairs you know even you went to the stairs there's water along next to the stairs amazing it's so beautiful so here's another photo. Let's see, so here another photo. It's very beautiful. And, and imagine this was a desert, and how smart was the Muslim at that time. But when we have corrupted ruler, when the Muslims are corrupted, then we Allah say we never the the this, the victory is no longer ours. So you can see here, uh, there are a lot of carv- uh, not carvings like a um, plaque, 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 plaque of the 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 writing is wala ghalib illallah wala ghalib illallah there's no there's no like conqueror except for allah everywhere it's the same khat everywhere around the uh, around the uh, castle okay so we have many structures like this it is very similar to kashmir ma'am it's similar to kashmir yes so many many places in the world, follow uh, Alhamra. If you go to another, uh, they, 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 they imitate. The um, in Kashmir, they were made by Mughals. You know Mughals? Yes. So the I, I'm not sure Mughals are before Andalusia. I think after Andalusia. Okay. So if it's after Andalusia, they will copy each other. Uh, so here, very nice, right? You can walk down here and flowers on top. I really like. If you want to go for honeymoon, have money, go here. <laughs> some, some, apun elan sikit. So this, this is my husband. Uh, here's the, here, up here a lot of rooms. As I said, one of the rooms of the concubine over there. Okay, this is Alhambra, but it's very sad. This is the last fortress before we lost. So I and remember in the history the ruler the the king of the Christian because it, it was a fight between the Christian and the Muslim at that time, and 
and there's a very interesting history on how in the end the, the Christian keep on uh, fighting to get Andalusia but never won uh, until what happened was because at the, on on the north of Spain there are previously there are two big two big um, uh, Christian kingdom but they are fighting each other and also they want to fight the Muslims so they lost so one day uh, the the both of the kingdom said I have a I have a princess and the other one have a have a prince so they marry the two prince and princess called, called if I'm not mistaken Isabella and Ferdinand, uh, Ferdinand. so they, they marry the two and the two become one big Christian kingdom and they start attack, attacking the Muslim again and then when they when they united then we lost and it's very sad, you know, at that time when they come and attack the, the Muslim at that time, anything moving, they will kill. So even, it doesn't matter if it's children or women or old people, they kill everybody. To the extent that the, 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 the road are full with blood, if you, the, the, the horse will gallop, right? And once the horse gallop, blood are being spilled everywhere. Shows too much killing. And they just don't care. And 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 the, the the if you go you should go there and you'll be very sad why because everywhere looks like muslims you know, you know the, the 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 building everything but nobody nobody there are muslims and they and the name of the road sounds like a muslim a arabic name but they change it and if you look uh, when i was staying in a bed and breakfast like a like a like a hotel but cheaper hotel um, the, the face of the person, you know, he, they don't speak at all English uh, during when I went there. Lah. They only speak Spanish when, uh, when I went there. And this, the, the features of the person, the man who at the hotel, looks exactly like an Arab. Exactly. But it's not a Muslim and cannot speak Arabic at all. Why? Because once the Christian conquered the Andalusia, they, um, they, they wipe off. They wipe off the history and they, they don't allow the Muslims to, to practice Islam. So they ask everybody to change into Christi Christianity. So that's why I say it's a very sad uh, history. Although people look, it's very nice. So there's another place in Andalusia. Uh, they, it's called, it's still the name is Madinah Az-Zahra. <coughs> so Madinah Az-Zahra, if it's in Arabic. So now it just become like an ecological place. So why? Because it was great. It's, it's even grander than the the previous the one I show you, the Alhambra. But because and the, all the bricks being imported, if I'm not mistaken, the brick was imported from India, something something like that, and uh, the, it's from marble. So it's very expensive, and they, they are we are very rich at this time. <clears throat> but in the end, in the end, and the the technology and the military is super super. Uh, I will show you this, the entrance, there are seven entrances like this. And then, um, and this, this is the only entrance to the, to the castle. So meaning if you want, people want to attack, they, they, they cannot attack from anywhere, they must come into here. So, and then this seven will go into one lane only and they put all the military there. So, not possible for somebody to conquer the castle. Can you guess in the end how the how the how the enemy managed to topple this castle and the, the king? They go in along they go in as something like entertain entertainment uh, yeah. group into the castle and attack from inside. Oh no, I say yes. Um good attempt. But not exactly. You know what happened? This the the, the tourist um uh, the tourist guide uh, to, uh, told us the story. Uh, it happens. The king at that time was really powerful to the extent the UK and the Western will come and pay tizia to them. At that time, amazing lah. And they they have the biggest diamond in the world at that time. And now the biggest diamond uh, be, uh, belong to the Queen of England. So they were powerful. Uh, people will come, uh, but this uh, you know you cannot attack from outside. Impossible. So what happened? What happened was, this king um, was given a present. So uh, so you know all this jajahan, all the other places, giving uh, giving a lot of uh, like money and everything to to the king to the country. 
So one of the one of the one of the place give her give him a beautiful lady as a wife. No, and first as a wife or as a like a as a slave, like like a concubine. Very beautiful, the most like Miss Universe ah, at that time. So 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 she she was there inside, and uh, and then in the end the the king has many wives and also many what do you call it concubines, including that lady. And what happens? The lady was actually being trained from young uh, to be a spy, to be a spy and also also uh, to be the spy of the Jews. So what happened was the the lady is so beautiful and, and then she managed to persuade the king to take some people to uh, to be placed inside the castle like a for to be postman to be a cleaner to be a you know to be a cook so she she do it very slowly and very discreetly one why puju ah puju the the husband because she's beautiful and the husband likes the girl so much she follows everything until enough people inside and stop her from inside abyss so you know so a big kingdom like this are being uh, being damaged or broken or being um, what is it uh, kalah apa what's kalah being uh, aku tak tahu kalah kalah being defeated ah uh, being defeated by a woman so you know that's why our brothers be careful. Uh. Women can can change. That's why I say women can change the world because normally uh, men are stupid in, in front of women. So be careful. That's why Islam put a lot of boundaries on this. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is me when I was young. I'm old already. <laughs> so here's the here's the where the king will sit. So all all the minister will sit over here. So it's a place, and this uh, this is uh, this is a masjid in Cordoba, Mezquita. You can you can Google M E Z Q U I T A. It's very it's very famous, okay. And it's also very sad, uh, Cordoba Mosque, Cordoba. So it's very sad. I didn't take photo. I don't know why I forgot to put, take photo. The rest of it, you know, here's the mimbar. And if you go, the rest of it's a very big mosque, and the rest of it is all full of the Jesus and Mary uh, statue everywhere, except for this one. They didn't change this uh, because they say let's let, let leave the history. But the rest, everything, so very sad, lah, Very sad. You need to read. You Google a story about this. There's a very sad story about this. Who a man who wanted to do uh, solat sunat tu uh, tahiyatul masjid. And what happened after that? You can Google it. So I went there to see the history of Muslim history. We were once grand. And what happened to us now? Okay, Allah says, if we don't hold on to Islam and, uh, and the deen, we will never win. But even if we don't have technology, but we follow Allah and His Rasul, Allah will give success to us. So first we need to change to, to make ourselves better. Then Allah will give a victory to us, inshallah. Okay, finish. Now we only manage to go to BJP. How many minutes we have left? Ah, <laughs> ada huh? uh, for the for the class or for the no for this Zoom. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay lah. So the history you you can read the on your own lah the history of BJT it's very interesting it it, it comes up with like a, a mistake and and people at that time thought that BJT will will outrun MOSFET but after that they were wrong because first they found BJT first then later on they found MOSFET but now MOSFET is ruling the world everything in your integrated chip in your phone everything on MOSFET. So BJT in the end didn't manage to uh, to to go off because of the you, we, there are many things that it can it is difficult to make the BJT as as small as MOSFET. Okay, and also there's a also history you can you can read lah. Don't, don't have time. So you have transistor have two type two main categories was the BJT and the other one is field effect transistors, uh, MOSFET. 
uh, is a type of field effect transistor. Um, transistor have three terminals. Uh, and then you can control it by changing the voltage uh, or where the application of uh, or, or current to the input term terminal. Okay, the uh, BJT and MOSFET, the physics is very different. Okay, both of them are transistors. They, are, they can do, they can work as a switch. They can become amplifier. Both uh, similar in terms of the application, but how it works, the physics is very different. Okay, so we'll be learning inshallah in this class. So you can use uh, transistors in many things, in amplifiers, linear regulated power supplies, switches, logic gates, RAM, microprocessor, everything. Nowadays use transistors. Okay. Uh, okay, apa benda ni? Um, okay, bipolar because both carrier, hole and electron uh, play an important role in the operation. Uh, FET uh, are unipolar meaning only one, either one, either electron or hole that determines the current inside it. Uh, this is the, what do you call it, the symbol of a, of a, of a BJT. Right, you have two types, NPN and PNP. And there are three terminals, collector, base and emitter. Okay, we learned this in your first year. Ini baru introduction lah. So modern transistor, you can see this is the disc, uh, uh, single. They call it, sometimes they call it discrete device, one by one. But uh, you can actually make it smaller. The packaging is actually big. The transistor inside is very small. Okay lah. So we jadi fabrication. Um, okay. The fabrication of BJT, you need to see how a BJT looks like. It looks like this, basically, in terms of layering. Uh, although you see here, it looks like this. Huh? P, N, P, N, if you draw, this is your N type, P type, N type. P type material, N type material, P type of semiconductor. Then you put three in a row like that, you get a, uh, you get a uh, BJT. However, in real life, when they try to make the BJT, it's not like that. In real life, at the factory, when you're real time to make, first you make, they make all, everything here, they make it N. Then they dope it this, they dope it this side, the whole P. And then the small side here, they dope it N. That's how they do it. Okay. So, so that's why, uh, so that's why I say BJTs are usually constructed vertically. Uh, it will control the depth of the emitters, the doping uh, sets. Sets the base width. A base width is this one. So it's difficult to, you know, uh, one of the difficulty is to control the depth. This, if you when they dope it P type here, sometimes they want to dope it only this, uh, this thick, but due to the the way you grow, sometimes it become bigger. So you need to have a good control of the depth of the emitters doping sets, uh, doping of the of the of the devices. Less than a minute, okay? I think we we should go out and come back again, okay? Okay, okay, ma'am. Can somebody text West Alam? Okay, let's record. Hmm. I will share again my screen. Right, so where was the, uh, kat mana kita tadi ya? Can you see, you can see the screen, right? Yes. Uh, right, so looking at this. So this is how, uh, how they make BJT. So you have, you have the collector terminal, you have the base terminal, and you have the emitter terminal. So if this is NPN. If we PNP, they will dope everything P, then we dope everything N here, and then they will dope the everything P over there. Okay, so it's PNP. Um, you can read the rest. The 
the emitter to base diode is closer to the surface than the base to collector junction because it's easier to, to make uh, the heavier doping at the top. Mm. Here, if you, so that's why you, you have the collector at the bottom because you need to dope it higher at the top. So that's why, uh, and, and after this, you, uh, you, want, you want to know why, do, do we want to make the base doping high or low? We'll cover after this. And this is how the mode, uh, you learn this in your first year. There are, there are like three, uh, four here because uh, inverted is the inverse of the active. So you have the saturation mode, you have the forward active mode, and you have the cut, cut off. Okay. So saturation mode uh, is where you forward bias both junction. Remember this uh, uh, is NPN, NPN is easier, you have N, P and N. And it's actually just two diode back to back. Okay, two diode back to back, back to back. Because this is an, a PN junction, this is another PN junction. So you, you and this junction, they, for saturation, you forward bias this both junction. In forward active mode, you forward bias the base to emitter junction only and you reverse bias the base to collector junction. In a cut off, where you, you don't want current to flow at all, you just reverse bias uh, both. Uh, the only not good thing I cannot... Oh, I know. Next time I need to open the... What do you call it? This PowerPoint inside, inside my, my iPad. Because... Then I say I can write, but now now I cannot. It's okay, next time. Uh, but let me share my my iPad. Uh, for for the doping, uh, right? The uh, for the doping for NPN or PNP, the if it's NPN, um, how different is the doping between the two and diode? I mean, semiconductor. Okay. Um, good question. Uh, I will go through after this uh, once you understand how it works. Because uh, there's a reason uh, why we make certain, uh, why we do it like that. So after this, we'll go through how it works. Okay. So then, then mungkin daripada situ, you will understand. Okay, I just want to show. Uh, if any of you uh, boleh buat cepat-cepat lah. If you can try to convert the PDF to uh, uh, the PowerPoint to PDF, and then email it to me. I can open it here in my iPad, then I can scribble. Okay. You can put the change it to PDF, then email it to me. Jangan WhatsApp so saya tak buka WhatsApp ni. So this a uh, this is so BJ, you are talking about BJT, right? So you have you have N, P, and N. So basically what happens is you have three terminals. You have the emitter, you have the base, you have the collector. And actually uh, it's just two jun uh, two PN junction. So it's very simple. That's why after PN junction we are learning BJT because it's very similar. So here P and N, so you P like that, N like that. So like that. Here is P, here is N, so like that. So basically it's just a diode back to back. Right? So that's why saturation mode. Uh, uh, you forward bias both junction. So here you for uh, junction, this we call it base to emitter junction or base to emitter diode or here you call it base to collector junction. So So in saturation mode, you forward by both junction. In forward active mode, you forward bias the base to emitter junction, but you reverse bias the uh, base to collector junction. It's just a diode. So now let's see what happens, okay? Uh, now we talk about how the cadmium move, then later on baru, then we we'll talk, we'll talk about the energy van diagram. Uh, you finish doing the PDF, let me know. 
Okay. Um, I don't know whether you can do while concentrating me talking here. Okay. Yeah, uploading. The internet is slow. Okay. Now, let's Madam, look. Yeah? Uh, Madam don't want, to, don't want me to share through WhatsApp, is it? Oh no, email. Email. Oh, email. Okay. Oh, you need to email. Sebabnya kalau WhatsApp, I can open in my iPad the WhatsApp. Okay, so this is the BJT again. And PN. So, let's assume it's been doped. Uh, let's assume first it's doped uh, the same. The same doping concentration across. Now, now, can anybody tell me what happens now when I forward bias the base to emitter junction? You learn uh, forward bias of PN junction before. So can you tell me what happens when I forward bias this two junction, this junction here? Emitter to the base. Tell me in terms of carriers, the free carriers, the, the carrier, electron code. Into the base. Okay. Electrons will flow. Electrons will be from where to where? Uh, emitter to the base. Okay, so electron will diffuse from the emitter to the base. How about the hole? Uh, holes in opposite direction. Okay, the radiation. Huh? I already sent. You already sent. Okay. So I will I will open after this. Thank you. So hole will hole will diffuse the other way, right? Hmm. So so is there a lot of current or or bias here? When you forward bias, is there a lot of current or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. So a lot of electron, uh, a lot of electron will diffuse. So many electron will diffuse, right? So okay, now now, uh, when the electron enters the base region here, okay, the base region. When the electron enters the base region, what, what happens to the electron? base region? Is P. Hmm. What happens? Uh, they can uh, they, they can get recombined with the holes. Okay, some of it will combine the hole, right? Good. Um, so it so now, uh, it depends on how, if we now let's let us uh, reverse bias this junction. The base to collector junction is reverse bias. What what happens then after that here when the electron comes here? Some of it recombine. Then, then the um, electron uh, will flow into the collector. The electron will flow to the collector. Why? This is the reverse bias, right? Yeah, reverse bias because the positive terminal will attract the electron. Okay, that's right. So this is for bias here. So, so the electron wants to go there. Then it will be attracted to go to the positive, it will go there and then be collected at the collector. That's why the name collector is collecting all the electrons. Okay, so now. Uh, uh, that's, uh, and how do you control a, 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 a transistor? By controlling uh, the base to emitter junction here, you forward the, the forward bias here. If you forward a lot, if you forward bias with a lot of voltage, that means a more electron will flow, therefore more current you will get at the collector. Okay, right. Um, now we haven't talked about the recombination. So when, when electrons uh, diffuse from the emitter to the base region, okay, from the emitter region here to the base region, diffuse, some of the electron will recombine, meaning it will you, in this region, in the base region, you will, you will lose. In the base region, you will lose um, uh, okay. free, uh, electron, and you feel you will lose hole, right? So what happens is when you lose hole uh, due to equilibrium, uh, that the the base here they will supply elect uh, hole in 
because here they're supposed to have P, this is P. They should have a certain concentration of whole. So when they lose, uh, because it's already fault bias, when you lose a hole over here, the outer circuit here will now uh, push hole to go in. Okay, and this this current due to the hole uh, replacing the recombination is called the base current. Okay, so you have base current and the current that is due to the carriers diffusing uh, diffusing between the uh, base due to emitter to the base here are called the emitter current. Okay, emitter current is due to the forward bias of the uh, base to emitter junction. The base current here is due to the hole lost. So when the hole loss due to recombination, the circuit will try to replenish. Okay, so if, if you have little recombination, only very little recombination, it means that the base current will be small. So that's why when you when you do your in your first year, normally base current is very small because uh, the the electrode that comes here, some of it only small part of it will recombine, most of it will being will be collected, actually drift. Will be drifted to the to the collector, so you have diffusion over here. Then you have drift drift uh, to the to the collector. Okay. Then when the electron goes to the collector, then that's how you have collector current. Sila. Uh, so the direction of the, uh, the sorry the direction of the current is like this, because the electrons are moving that way. So the the direction of the current is the opposite way. So it's this way. And this is IC. The direction of the current is always the opposite direction of the uh, of the electron. So elect, uh, what do you call it? The 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 electron are diffusing this way. Uh, therefore, the current is this way. The opposite one. Okay, any question up to here? Uh, Ma'am, uh, did you say that the uh, holes, uh, base current is uh, holes are flowing into the base in the external circuit uh, to make up for the um, re recombined holes there? I cannot hear you. I don't know why your internet nowadays, uh, Tawana. Maybe you need yes, to complain. Something is wrong with the campus Wi-Fi, I think. Is it something wrong with the Wi-Fi? Uh, yes, you, you can complain, you know, there's a, I will, uh, remind me, I will send you a link where you can complain to ITD that the, 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 the Wi-Fi is not right. sometimes okay. Also, sometimes. also, I think there's more people nowadays. Okay, ma'am. Yes, but I have a student, is one, his, his, his internet is okay. He's from the brothers, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, something is wrong with our mahala. Yeah, you need to complain. Let them fix. Oh, this is okay. Oh. Anna, Anna's doing Wi Fi. Eh? You're using Wi Fi. Eh? You are mute, mute, Anas. I'm using Wi Fi uh, at Salahuddin. Wi Fi at AUM. See, very nice. Eh? The, the, the Wi Fi is good. So, something wrong with you, Tamana, not you, uh, the Mahala. <laughs> so, go and complain. <laughs> right. Uh, can you ask again? Yes, did you say that the holes are injected into the base to make up for the recombined holes? Ah, so th no, the electron are being injected to the base, right? And then the electron... Yeah, uh, in the external circuit, I'm saying. In the external circuit, base uh, yeah. current. Yes, yeah, oh, the external, yes. Hole will be in injected to the base, yes. To replace the, the, the hole loss due to recombination. Okay. Okay. Any more questions? No? If no, I will, I, will, I will open the slide. Awak hantar kat mana tadi? Apa nama ni? Anas? Through email. Email. Uh, I am email. Okay, BDT PDF. Good. Let me share again. Um. Okay. 
Sí. You can see, right? Mm. Oh, dia pergi dua page macam tu macam mana? Kenapa dia pergi dua page macam tu? Normally, you go page by page. Why? Why? Let in. Normally they they will open one page. Oh, mana ni? Oh, dah okay. Ah. Okay, okay, dah okay, dah okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, alright, good. So, can you see? Awak nampak kan? Apa yang saya nampak? Yes. Okay, so. So I've explained how the the NPN uh, NPN what do you call it um, transistor that transistor works. So PNP should be similar. Di cuma terbalik. It's just the opposite, right? So PNP in order to make it, you need to you, the the for for it in, to be in active mode, you need to forward bias the base to emitter junction and reverse bias the base to collector junction. So you need to have a lot of current in the in this junction and then uh, reverse this junction. So and because this uh, because P and P dia terbalik kan, it's like the P is like this, it's like that. that. So you forward bias the this junction means you need to put the the positive over here and negative over here, right? And you reverse bias this junction meaning uh, you put a positive over here, negative over here. So you just you just do the opposite and then the flow of current will depend on how if you understand forward bias of a pn junction you can explain the pnp okay so in the exam i can ask you pnp if i want yes uh, what causes the junction what causes the whether it to be active or inverted or cut off how do you change the biasing oh how do you change the biasing? Yeah, basically, what happens is uh, this. Oh, what is it? What happens is the. Oh, 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 so if you forward bias this junction, and you put a positive over here, negative over here, you connect like that. Here, you connect to a, this, you go into negative, you want to, this PN junction. You want to reverse over here, so negative over here, positive over here. Yeah. Like, just like that. Oh, ma'am, I so, think, huh? then we have to reverse bias it. Base collected? Yeah, this is reverse bias, right? So this is P, this is N. So reverse bias, oh, oh yeah, you are right. Uh, no, no. Reverse bias, this should be negative. Oh, you are right. I'm wrong. Okay, so you are right. So it should be like this. Negative, positive. Right? That right, that's right. Betul kan? Positive, negative. Oh, yeah, sure. uh, so basically, how do you make it into forward bias or saturation mode? You just play with the battery over there. With the same transistor, you just play. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, what's the significance of a forward active mode or saturation mode? If you remember in your first year, forward active mode, you use it for amplifying. So for, it, so for amplification, you use it in forward active mode. Saturation. Where? When do you use saturation mode? I think a switch. A switch. Uh, it's for yeah, switch logic gate, on off. 
you use uh, saturation. So most of it, you want to use it in term in in the forward active mode to amplify. So basically, why amplifier? Because a small base current. So the input is called the base. So the small base current, you get a big collector current. That's how you get the gain. Okay. Who remember beta equals to IC over IB? The gain. Okay, any more question? Uh, Madam, I want to ask. Uh -huh. With uh, the NPN junction before, the, the electron diffused from the emitter would be the same as the electron drifted uh, at the collector, is it? Is it the same value? Ah, you mean the same, uh, 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 the same concentration. concentration of the carriers? Yes. Uh, good question. Um, and no, no. The answer is no. Why? Because, uh, because uh, the electron uh, say let's say ah, uh, let's say let's say uh, when we in the, if you forward bias this this uh, this transistor over here, uh, and we get the everything the the total the total uh, the total electron that being diffused is let's say 10. See, so yeah, I just put a number 10. When it goes to the base, you, you, you will lose some to recombination. So maybe one. One electron will recombine, you are left with nine. And the nine will go here. So that's why, that's why I see equals to, who remembers? IE minus IB. Right. If you remember in your first year, you just memorize right, the equation. But now it makes sense. Why IC equals to IE minus IB or, or IE equals to IC plus IB. Why? Because IE is, IE is the, the one generating the collector current, uh, the emitter current here is the one generating the, the whole free carrier. Then, uh, then you will lose some in the base and then most of them will be collected. So the total current is emitter current plus IC plus, uh, plus IB. Okay. So any more question on that? that uh, no, then Hmm? Yes. What's in my in and out? Uh? Okay, that was what's what's the uh, The reverse bias base collector junction. Uh, won't there be flow of holes from uh, N to P and uh, from N to P? Will there be flow of holes? Okay, good question. Good question. I want you to think on your own. Uh, you reverse reverse biasing the PN junction. What are what kind of current is there, and the current is due to what? Do you still remember? Yes, ma'am. Uh, there will be uh, this uh, drift. There will be drift. Huh? There will be uh, due, drift due to uh, due to the um, electric field at the junction. Due to minority. Or majority? Minority. No, ma'am. Uh, due to minority carriers. Okay, you have some drift current, but it's very small, right? Due to minority carrier. Yeah. But, but if you look here, uh, the. If you look here, the 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 dominant a lot of current because drift current is only due to minority. It's very little. But the electron that being diffusing uh, now drifting now here. Is majority because why not majority it's a lot because of the, because it comes from the emitter right emitter you have like a lot of free carriers so when it comes here the drift is like negligible you have some but like negligible most of it are due to the one that collected at the collector most it most of it due to the diffusion of the emitter current 
so the flow of my uh, minority holes from collector to the base will be negligible yes there is some but negligible okay. Uh, and uh, uh, in a normal consequence, it's negligible. You will learn later on, uh, at certain point, it might become uh, important. But for now, it's not important. Because it's uh, like a million uh, minus like uh, 10. No, nobody cares a 10, right? Yes. Okay, so proceed. Okay, so now uh, so now we covered that one. Advanced BJT structure. You can go and read about this. Uh, nowadays they are uh, they no longer make it like this. They make it like this, more complicated. Why? Uh, because it makes more efficient. Okay, so engineers are very smart. They keep on changing things to make it more efficient. So you can I will not cover in the class. If you want, you get you can go and read. This is vertically, um, vertical BJT. Um, okay. Let's keep this one not very important. Okay, now how the BJT works. Okay, so just now I I covered how the BJT works in terms of the the structure, right? Now we want to draw the energy band diagram. Okay, can you? I give you. Three minutes. Draw me the energy band diagram of a BJT. Okay. It, it just, remember, it's very simple. It's just a PN junction back to back. Uh, uh, it's just a PN junction back to back. So, so if you understand the PN junction, you should be able to draw the, the energy band diagram of a BJT. So, draw first the energy band diagram of a of the base to emitter, then after that, draw the base to collector and just join them. Try for that. If you cannot, it's fine, but at least you try. Uh, Madam, Iman asked to be inside the inside again. Okay. This internet connection got problem. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. I really did help him. So, you are a Wi Fi is better. <laughs> What happened, Iman? Uh, it, uh, um, the, the internet got cut off because uh, my niece, she doesn't want to go to class, uh, on her online class, so she kind of threw a tantrum and Switch pushed off. the on button from the modem. <laughs> so I need to reset the modem again and wait. And now yeah. she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. Well, very smart of her to to try to cut off the internet. The uh, <laughs> Okay, now uh, uh, now I am asking uh, the student to draw the energy band diagram of a BJT. You know how to draw energy band diagram of a PN junction? Just combine the two. Ma'am, under no bias. Huh? Uh, as zero, uh, bias. zero bias, yes. Draw uh, uh, at zero bias. So, which means that all the Fermi level should be continuous. Hmm. I think I. Okay. Uh, Best you go to the online. You can draw the color color. But the Madam, you can uh, can you share, share can one? you share the the notes later? The notes, which notes? From the iPad. Oh, okay, sure. Yes, they are can. I will share with because it will save everything before as well. So I give you everything. Yes. So I'll uh, upload it to a cloud system so that you can check, like Google. Right. I, I think I, I think we can use Google Notes and you can share. Google Notes. Uh, I forgot. Uh, uh, my friend did it with me once and to study Google together. Google Notes. Google. Google, Google Notes. Uh, I'll chat with my friend and uh, nanti later I'll tell you. Okay. So finish your drawing. 
Yes, I do. Okay. Zero bias only. Okay, can you show it to me? Can you like take photo, put the put somewhere? I said, yes, I'm I said no. Can we? Can I see? I don't know whether I can see or not, Anas. My eyes are like old people cannot see. <laughs> so you need yeah, to. Okay, snap. You can see that, Anas. I cannot see. <laughs> Not really, you are hurting my eyes. Okay, so why not you, you take a photo, send it to uh, WhatsApp. If you want me to put it here, okay, can you can you email it to me? Take photo, email it. I have sent on the group. I sent on the WhatsApp group. Uh, if WhatsApp, I cannot open it here. You will not see. Can you email it to me? Okay, ma'am. Because my iPad cannot open WhatsApp. Because I'm opening it my laptop, so email, eh? just email it to me. Nah, have you emailed it to me? No, ma'am. And Fazlin H. Allah, we have six minutes only. Aduh, cepatnya masa. Uh, email to your IIM. Ah, my IIM uh, and Fazlin H. Uh, it's attached to nobody yet. Okay, madam. Uh, BJP zero bias. You haven't received it. Okay, we got Anas with some shadow, but it's okay. Let me copy. Let me copy this. Oh, I need to flip this. <laughs> For zero bias only, is it, madam? Uh, for zero bias, but you can try to do forward active mode. If you if you if you brave, you just do yes. also do forward active mode. Scan the thing, take photo. Ma'am, I think I sent. Huh? You think you sent? Yes. You're not sure. <laughs> uh, I I sent it to you, madam. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see yeah, if I can open this. Take photo, photo library. Oh, dangerous. Photo you cannot see. You cannot see what I put here, right? So let me like share it here. Um, okay, I put Anas. I put. I received. I I think I didn't receive yours, ah, uh, Anna. Uh, I saved Iman, but I didn't save. I didn't receive yours. You I don't see? know why it's not going. You don't know why? Uh, I can see sign now. Okay. So I will open share. How many seconds we have left? How many? Minit we have lah. Ah, uh, three minit. Mana? Um, we have three minutes. But also, I have another class at three thirty. We also have class at three thirty. Okay, let's finish it off. If you have to go to three thirty, you go je lah. Nanti you you just leave. Um, you just leave. I cannot even find my. Room. Okay, so if you see here, 
This is Anas and Iman. Okay, yes. So the first thing, uh, so you can see the 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 Fermi level. The Fermi level here is continuous, correct? Right, and and then P. This is NPN, ah. Uh. Yeah, you're drawing NPN or PNP. Your uh, Iman. NPN. Uh, NPN, madam. Uh, if NPN, negative should be lower. This is NPN. This N is close to the conduction band, and this P is N. So correct. Yes. So betul. Uh, so what you've done is correct. Also, Anas also correct. So you can see. The most important if it's zero bias, we show the Fermi level continuous. Then, then the and and then this is N P N. Good. So and, and later we will learn in the next class uh, the doping uh, because we will find out what, why we need to make the doping of the base smaller. So we will go cover in the next class. Okay. So I think that's all for today. We have forty seconds. Mm. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. Uh, next class will, will I want can you like email me your forward active mode? Okay, for, forward, active. forward active mode and saturation mode both email it to me. Then uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go through that in next class inshallah. If you don't send it to me, it's fine now. Later you can send it to me. Okay, and I will go okay, through the rest of the BJT inshallah. Okay. Let's so see. It's 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 easier when you understand one part. If you understand one part, you can understand the rest. If you understand the injunction BJT is easier. Most part, inshallah, not that difficult. Okay. Uh, let's close the class. Huh? thank you very much, everybody. We tasbih kifara and suratul as. Okay, thank you. Saturation. Huh? I'm, I'm writing in uh, what's that? Saturation. Uh, okay. Saturation. Forward active. And forward active mode. Okay. And forward active and saturation. Both we have to draw, ma'am. Uh, draw, both draw and email it to me. Okay. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.